Y'all, we've been wanting to create the most sincere pumpkin patch for a while. I've got 14 pumpkins here. I think it's 14. This is the Big Max. They're supposed to be good carving pumpkins. I don't have enough space on my vegetable garden to designate a carving pumpkin area. <laughs> so that's why we're like, you know what? This is the perfect spot because it gets really good sun. Although you can't tell right now because it's been gloomy and rainy for the past few days. And right out here, I'm gonna kind of space these pumpkins out. And back here, I'm gonna put my two Asian persimmon trees. I also wanna get some sunflowers and just kind of toss them out here. And then I've got a bunch of corn that Lily helped me start in the greenhouse. This will be kind of our fun Samhain fall garden. And Nathan left this stump up here for a reason. We wanna put a pumpkin right here eventually. And of course, we need to get a scarecrow out here too. But let's get these guys planted. They are ready. You see, they're quite large already. have a high chance of finding a copperhead, which you saw. So we were both going carefully. If I just lifted a log up and there was a copperhead underneath it. <laughs> but he was pretty chill and we were able to just relocate him. Well, he's on the small side too. Feels good to have them all on the ground, but needing to get this done. But we were, Nathan and I were both dreading clearing this section out, to be honest. <laughs> well, almost finished. I need to go get those persimmon trees. I've got two Asian persimmon trees here. My mother gifted these for me for my birthday. And I see these little guys are attacking it here on just one of the leaves. Little tiny worms. 
can't remember what these are called, but they're obviously bad. In this situation, they usually hatch a lot. I'll remove the leaf itself. I had these guys on a few of my grape leaves and I tried hosing them off, but they're kind of sticky, they kind of grab. So since they were just attacking one leaf, I just removed that leaf. And I haven't noticed any more, but of course I, but I come out here every day. In fact, right now I've been coming out here twice a day and just checking on things. And Nathan usually comes with me in the evening and he helps me. And I, we found a cluster of at least, I wanna say three, different clusters of eggs. They looked like armyworm eggs to me. But so we were able to remove those and they're not gonna hatch and destroy my plants. I haven't been seeing as many lady squash beetles either. Let me just check it. So I wasn't out here this morning. I have been noticing some of the beneficial stink bugs out here. And that always makes me happy. The ones that are beneficial, they usually look like they have armor on them. The ones that I have in my garden have little spikes on their shoulders. All right, I think the easiest way to get these out is gonna to be to carry them. Well, let me see how heavy they are. This one would be the heaviest. <laughs> these tomatoes are getting so big. These are all my backup tomatoes. I probably should start staking these up. <laughs> what do you think? You're really bully. Okie dokie. Oh, that's not that bad. We can carry this. That wasn't too bad. Now for the easy one. I'm gonna try to dig really nice, deep, wide holes for these guys. We'll see how far I get. That way, the root systems can just take off. This soil here is good, but there's a lot of dead roots in it. So let's see how much we can break this stuff up. not a stick. That's trash. And a piece of tile. <laughs> God damn. Two eight, eight roots. Alright, it was a lot easier to dig shallow here than it is to go real deep. There are so many roots here. I chose to wear pants today because it was cooler, but I'm starting to regret that. Hi, Trigo. You want to dig it for me tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> I'll just have to bust my way through somehow. This is how you get a good workout, y'all. Do some gardening. Wow, that's stuck. I think that's as good as it's gonna get for today. A little bit of a drizzle. It feels nice. One down, one more to go. I'm gonna be getting some mulch later on this week. And I'll mulch up around here. And I have another purpose for this pot. I'll show y'all later. much easier. Okay, I have one more thing I need to plant. I'm gonna go show you what that is out in the greenhouse. This is called a plumbago, and it was my Mimi's very favorite flower. She was an amazing gardener. And my mom, there's a wasp in here. Hopefully it decides to go away not make a nest. 
I ran into a nest, y'all, of wasps when I was taking down my last arch that had the hairy vetch on it, and I went ahead and was able to plant all of my bird gourd squash. But when I was taking down the hairy vetch, there was a wasp nest in it, and all of a sudden these wasps started coming after me. <laughs> I screamed and I came running out into my greenhouse and I shut the door. And then later on, Nathan took care of it for me, so I was able to take it down and not get stung. But I'm excited about this one. But I'm gonna have to put it in a pot because it's not hardy in my zone. If you live down more south from me, then it would work, but so I'm gonna have to keep it in a pot and bring it in in this winter. Let me see if I have enough soil. I think so, we'll see. Looks like something's burning little holes in here. That almost fell off. That would have sucked. I think we'll probably bring this little guy outside. I'm honestly not sure where I want to put him yet though. I think I might bring it up to the house. The rain's coming down more. The darn wasps still flying around. Okay. Oh look. Oh, there's more mushrooms growing. Flower Fog commented and told me that this is called witch's butter and you can just eat it. But I just don't know. It's kind of gooey looking, you know? <laughs> A little bit like jelly. We could put it on toast, you know? I would be curious to try it, but I don't know. Maybe not today. But it likes to grow on here. I like the name Witch's Butter. It sounds like it would taste good. I might just stay out here in the rain. It's still early. I don't have to make dinner yet. And uh, look out, look for eggs and pests in the garden. And then I'll bring this guy up in my front garden somewhere. Thanks for hanging out with me. And we'll see you next time.